very good evening to one and all now i'm going to explain how to prepare physical chemistry msc second semester so most of the students to request to revise the content of physical chemistry second semester already you know that what is the pattern of question paper everything in this uh, physical chemistry part totally four blocks each blocks having four unit in each block we are giving equal weightage just we brief out that question paper in that uh, part 1 you answer any eight questions out of 10 questions in that uh, 10 question in each block we are giving three three question in that uh, first block giving three question in second block giving three question in third block and fourth block give two questions each in that part 2 of this question paper totally six questions each questions carries 16 mark in that we are going to dividing into that here 16 is dividing into 4 plus 6 plus 6 or 6 plus 6 plus 4 like that in that the question number 2 full complete question from the block 1 only the question number 2 from block 2 fourth from block 3 and fifth question from last block means fourth one another two questions are there question number 6 and 7 question number 6 is combining or compilations of block 1 and block 2 the question number 7 is compilations of block 3 and block 4 in that first part two more questions in that two more questions generally we are going to asking questions are like that define liquid junctions potential or determination of vapor pressure or lee chatelier's principle in that uh, phase rule asking definitions of phase rule and zinc cadmium system these type of questions are arises in that uh, block 2 you know that arrhenius theory of strong acid and weak acid or strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte dubai ukal theory only not derivations only dubai ukal theory and brief out the liquid junction potential if asking its determinations and merits and demerits asking four more question only liquid junction potential having only two more question that the quantum chemistry part asking the degeneracy and wave functions of hydrogen atoms the expected two more questions from this unit 12 the linear 
oscillator. In the last part or fourth block, definitions of absorption and desorption, Gibbs equations, Gibbs adsorption equation. Know that the Gibbs equation delta Z is equal to delta H minus T into delta S and coagulations of colloidal solutions, the zeta potential and zone electrophoresis. You know, these type of questions are asking in that to mark questions. Next, we look at that in fourth mark, four more questions from this unit one, directly asking the want of equations and osmotic pressure. And uh, what is activity and activity coefficients? The explained variation of activity with temperature and pressure. And define the terms like the degrees of freedom, transition temperature, heterogeneous system. These type of questions are arises from this first block. That electrochemistry part. Faraday's laws of electrochemistry or electrolysis, Debye Uka limiting equations for activity and activity coefficient, Elsmode, Ferris, and Go, Kapman, and Stern electrode double layer. That last part of this unit, the transport number of heat trough method and EMF method. Generally, these type of questions are arises for that 4 mark and 6 mark. Okay. In that block 3, the expected uh, questions from this 4 mark derive the mathematical expressions for Crodinger wave equation to a free particle and first order perturbations techniques and calculations of binding energy of helium atom using variations method. That last part in surface chemistry and colloidal chemistry, the assumptions and limitations of BAT theory, statement variation theorem and verify its proof and physisorptions and chemisorptions differences and heterogeneous catalyst. Write a note on heterogeneous catalyst. Generally, these type of questions are arises from this physical chemistry part. Just we revise that your syllabus, you concentrate at the end of the topic, they mentioned some questions. Those questions are very important in that the exercise questions okay. derive the expressions for enthalpy of mixing, statement of Rolf's law, and activity of component obeying Rolf's law. Differences between ideal and non-ideal solutions. The colligative properties. There are four important colligative properties are the relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation of boiling points, depression of freezing point and osmotic pressure. Sometimes that elevation of boiling point is also mentioned. Ebulioscopic constant. The depression of freezing point is mentioned, cryoscopic constant. And to derive the mathematical expressions for that, want of factor, this is also one of the expected question. To find the abnormal results of colligative properties, leach chartier's principle and variation of, variation of coefficients with temperature at constant pressure and pressure at constant temperature.
to concentrate these questions from this uh, unit 1 in that uh, second unit know that the differences for that ideal and non ideal solution based on this rolls law concept we develop the definitions of this ideal and non ideal solution ideal solutions means the solutions which obeys rolls law at any condition that is called what ideal solution non ideal solutions means the solution which do not obey that rolls law that is non ideal solution in that uh, non ideal solutions are having two behavior is there one is positive deviation from ideal behavior and negative deviation from ideal behavior when two components are greater interactions when two components are greater interactions suppose we consider component a and component b here both mix we mix with each other here the vapor pressure is greater than pure component that is positive deviation the stronger interactions between a and b vapor pressure is decreases means that vapor pressure is negative that is negative deviation from that ideal behavior just you consider this table here this is interactions in that ideal solutions and non ideal solution in that ideal solution the interactions between a a and a b and b b are identical identical means same but in that non ideal solution here the a b interaction is weaker we are getting positive deviation a b interaction is stronger getting negative deviation that vapor pressure is vapor pressure absorbed vapor pressure is equal to the calculated vapor pressure in that ideal solution that absorbed vapor pressure is greater than calculated vapor pressure in that positive deviation like that the absorbed vapor pressure is less than calculated vapor pressure that is negative deviation in that ideal solution the enthalpy of mixing of solutions is zero there is no changes but in case of non ideal solution the delta h means enthalpy change in enthalpy of mixing is endothermic in that positive deviation exothermic in that negative deviation that the delta v mixing in ideal solution when two mix each other there is no change in that volume hence that is mentioned here zero zero means there is no changes but in case of positive deviation a negative deviation or delta v mixing is not equal to zero next we consider thermodynamic functions of mixing of non ideal solution here when two solutions are mixing with each other here either enthalpy is changes entropy is changes okay based on that we are dividing into positive deviation and negative deviation in delta h mixing is greater that is what endothermic reaction is there lesser that is exothermic reaction the derivations are mentioned here finally we got it like that that activity and activity coefficient generally this uh, concept asking in two more question what is meant by activity and activity coefficient the activity of ith component is equal to the here fugacity of ith component in that any state any state means either solid liquid or gases by fi not means fugacity ith component in the standard state the chemical potential or partial molar pre energy is related to that activity by the relation is mu i is equal to mu i not plus rt ln ai okay this is the mathematical expressions for that activity and activity coefficient and variation of activity with the temperature by consider that equations mu i is equal to mu i not plus or t ln ai just we are going to substitute here mu i not is coming to the uh, rhs rhs means right hand side what happen that here or ln ai ln means we are expressed in that e form that is ln otherwise log e also or log e ai is equal to mu i by t minus mu i not by t 
just we are going to differentiating that equation above equation with respect to the temperature at constant pressure and compositions finally we got that here a differentiation of a i by dt with respect to pressure and x is equal to h i not minus h i bar by r t square this is the final mathematical expression for that variation of temperature sorry activity with temperature one more parameter is there to variations of activity with pressure the activity and activity coefficient is also variations with pressure mu i is equal to mu i not plus rt ln ai just we are going to substitute rt ln ai is equal to mu i minus mu i not again that equation differentiating with respect to that pressure at constant pressure and composition finally we got that expressions okay these two mathematical expressions are very important next determination of activity and activity coefficient by vapor pressure method and the activity and activity coefficient of a solute by vapor pressure method solute and solvent both we are dependent both we are dependent in this unit the other concept okay these concept are very important in that unit 2 that uh, first block the third unit is phase rule from this phase rule the definitions phase rule was discovered by willard gibbs it is based on that uh, temperature phase rule it predicts the effect of temperature pressure and composition of heterogeneous system heterogeneous systems means the reactant and uh, product and catalyst are in different physical state based on that we are going to explain that heterogeneous system if reactant catalyst and product are in same physical state that is homogeneous system and it is different that is what heterogeneous okay the mathematical form of this gibbs phase rule is written f plus p is equal to c plus 2 here f is number of degrees of freedom of or variation p means number of phase c means number of components z means number of variable what is the statement of this phase rule the number of degrees of freedom plus the number of phases is equal to the number of components plus 2 in a heterogeneous systems in equilibrium that is what statement of this phase rule the definitions of terms involved in that equation what is that phase component degrees of freedom or variations okay these are all very important definitions regarding to that phase rule the derivations of phases rule from concept of chemical potential just we are going to derive that derive the expressions based on the concept of chemical potential here phase a phase b phase 3 and phase d just we are going to assumption all these happened in that closed systems only closed systems mean there is no variations of heat and uh, what um, matter that is called what um a uh, closed system just you uh, think out that uh, thermos flask in that thermos flask just we are going to take on water okay there is no changes uh, uh, the matter and uh, heat or uh, energy that is called what closed system in that closed system consider in that closed systems to derive that phase rule from that uh, concept of chemical potential okay these are all derivations are very important asking in that uh, six more question next what are the applications of this uh, phase rule generally phase group a uh, phase rule which exist in equilibrium depends on the temperature pressure and the composition 
these conditions are determined experimentally and interdependence of values of the variables can be shown graphically using appropriate coordinates the one component system just we are going to take an examples regarding to that now what is that the one component system the value of f can be calculated by taking the minimum value of p is equal to 1 just we are going to substitute that mathematical expression it is sufficient to know that two variables namely temperature and pressure for studying the equilibrium between phases in that water system in that water system just imagine here water is the water is changes into that solid means ice that uh, ice is again converted into what water and uh, means a solid to liquid liquid to vapor is also there. water is heated up very strongly it is going to vapor state that is means gaseous state means the water it changes from one system to another system means water is changes from ice ice to what vapor means solid to liquid liquid to vapor in that the closed system it is happened there is no changes it depends on the temperature okay water around uh, 25 or 30 degree celsius it becomes what liquid in state it freezes around 4 degree celsius what happened it is in solid state the same water molecule is heated up around 90 or 95 degree celsius what happened it is going to vapor state that's why this is the best example in that water system this is the schematic uh, phase diagram for that water a b c okay just you go through that the phase diagram for water system idella explain maadbekalle idu next polymorphism polymorphism means just you imagine a sulfur sulfur exist in that uh, s8 form the atomic uh, symbol of the sulfur is s it is not exist in that unique in nature it is what it is a molecule s8 molecule it is a crown shape structure or fucker shape structure that uh, based on that uh, research purpose that is going to uh, convert uh, s8 and s4 also but the stability was less the existence of substance in more than one crystalline form possessing different physical properties is known as a polymorphic substance and the phenomenon is known called what polymorphism simply that is called allotropic in nature just imagine a carbon carbon exist in that what uh, diamond and uh, graphite okay both are graphite and diamond both are made by carbon only but the properties are different okay the same the elements the molecules are different the elements are same that is called what allotropic in nature this is monoclinic sulfur that is heated at 95.6 degree celsius what happen it changes its the geometry geometry means the monoclinic is changes into that rhombic you know that the monoclinic rhombic uh, triclinic uh, um, what is that uh, cubic tetragonal these are all different types of uh, crystal systems based on that interfacial angles and length we are going to dividing into that seven types of crystal system okay that in that uh, sulfur system is also to draw the phase diagram what happened in that uh, 95.5 degree celsius and uh, what 50 degree celsius and 114 degree celsius and 120 degree celsius the sulfur is also changes its solid liquid and vapor based on the different temperature okay. either asking water system phase rule for that water systems or sulfur system nimma syllabus alli eradu na helidare ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಯುನಿಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕಾಂಪ
ಫೇಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ವಾಟರ್ ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಟೂ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ತ್ರೀ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಯಾವ್ದಿದೆ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮಾಲ್ಟನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇಪರ್ ಓಕೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಿ ಡ್ರಾ ದಿಸ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಓಕೆ ವಟ್ ಆ್ಯಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಟು ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಟು ಗ್ಯಾಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಮಿಯಂ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಫೇಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಮಿಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಮಿಯಂ this is the zero degree at 321 degree celsius what happened that uh, cadmium in a 419 degree what happened that zinc it is changes its phase okay these two are very important regarding to that two component system one more is there from this uh, unit the phase rule for that uh, three component system in that uh, three component systems with the schematic the diagram for that the representations of three component system okay just you see here this is the representations of this three component system in that the three component the three possibilities are here one pair of partially miscible liquid the two pairs of possibly miscible liquid the three pairs of possibly miscible liquid the partially miscible liquid okay these three possibilities in that three phase system just uh, we draw that okay i think uh, this diagram is no need okay but theory na kelbodu diagram na astu concentrate na madala okay because it is a three dimensional diagram we can't write in that uh, paper that's why in that uh, phase diagram for that three component systems examples acetic acid carbon tetrachloride and water okay these three mixtures or these three solutions mix with each other we are getting that three component system okay this is the one of the important of the three component system just you concentrate phase the rule for that one component system and two component system in that three component system only need that explanations no need that diagram okay these are all the block 1 brief introduction that the block 2 we start from unit 5 in that uh, is the complete electrochemistry part you know that basic definitions of this electrochemistry and basic uh, aspects of this uh, electrochemistry there are two types of substances mainly that conductors and non conductors okay conductors those which electric current can easily pass uh, we, are, we are going to discuss with that metals and electrolytes we consider solids like copper silver these are all uh, coming under these uh, metals okay these metals are act as an what conductors in that the solution is also act as an conductors like the uh, salts sodium chloride means ionic compounds and acids and bases is also act as a, that conductors a non conductors means those which do not allow the current through that is non conductors example mica wax glass these are all the example of these non conductors there are two types of conductors namely electronic and electrolytic conductors just you go through that okay ella nimge five mark kelthare write a note on that uh, conductors and non conductors and classification some important next conductivity okay based on that ohms law you know that ohms law v is equal to ir v means what uh, potential difference v means potential difference the resistance of an electric conductor can be determined by that ohms law according to that ohms law adana e antano togutare e means applied potential or potential difference i is equal to er 
the conductance means that is 1 by r okay here the x x means uh, here they mentioned x is a cell constant cell constant is equal to 1 by k okay the derivations are important in that uh, concept asking uh, questions also okay you know that resistance conductance conductivity resistivity these are all important terms along with that uh, si units are very important what is the si unit of resistance ohm si unit of this conductance is per ohm or more the si unit of conductance is siemens siemens is equal to per ohm okay next equivalent conductance of that dilute solutions is explained by that carlos law carlos law means here the molar conductivity or limiting molar conductivity of cations and anions is equal to ionic conductance is equal to ionic conductance the ability of an electrolyte to transparent current and its conductance depends on that number of ions charge on the ions and speed of ions okay these the expressions derivations of that carlos law next faraday's law of electrolytes the faraday's law of electrolytes only law one first law and second law these two are very important the first law is says that it is very simple w means the amount of the amount of chemical change which occurs at any electrode is proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the electrolyte w is directly proportional to that q we know that q q means it is a product of current and time here w is equal to z i t here z is proportionality constant or electrochemical equivalent okay in that uh, second law the same quantity of electricity suppose we are going to take a different electrolyte solution either copper sulfate or zinc sulfate solution we are passing same amount of electricity that different amounts of chemical changes produced or all chemical equivalent okay simple agi helbeku andre equivalent weight of copper is 59 and zinc is 60 now same amount of electricity na now pass madadaga a zinc electrode mele only 59 g of zinc ions are deposited adhe naavu copper ions ke same amount of electricity na now pass madadaga 60 g of copper ions is deposited on that copper electrode means it is chemically equivalent okay that the quantity of electricity required to liberate 1.008 g means the atomic mass of hydrogen is what 1.008 g of hydrogen is deposited in that uh, silver is what 1 point, oh, sorry 109 107.88 g of silver has been found to be 96500 coulombs of electricity okay means 1 faraday is equal to 96000 500 coulombs of electricity that electrolytes we are going to dividing into two parts one is strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte that a strong electrolyte means the electrolytes are completely dissociated and it produces ions that is called what strong electrolyte weak electrolyte means the electrolytes are partially dissociated it is not completely dissociated partially dissociated that is called what weak electrolyte this is the simple uh, uh, chemistry is in between uh, water and uh, carboxylic acid or acetic acid what happened here to formation of that hydrogen bond between oxygen and hydrogen oxygen in that water hydrogen in that carboxylic acid to formation of a strong hydrogen bond here the proton transfer is to ions have been produced one is an acceptations and hydrated portion the potential electrolytes dissociate into ions by inorganic or ion forming chemical reactions with solvent molecules okay this also it uh, depends on that what uh, uh, acidic conditions only 
that arrhenius theory of electrolytic dissociation now that arrhenius theory the substances it produces h plus that is called what acid the substance it produces oh minus that is called what base that is what arrhenius theory of acid base just we consider hcl hcl is dissociated it gives h plus ions that is called what acid NaOH. NaOH is dissociated. It gives what? OH minus. Hence, that is called what base. What are the limitations of this Arrhenius theory? Arrhenius theory is satisfactory for only weak electrolytes. However, when applied to strong electrolytes, many anomalies and disconsistencies arises. What are the some important descriptions from these limitations of this Arrhenius theory? the degree of dissociation obtained from conductance measurement and from colligative properties or in four agreements for strong electrolyte the ostwald dilutions law is also one of the very important law to explain the weak electrolyte and that ostwald dilutions law which derived on the basis of this arrhenius theory is not obeyed by the strong electrolyte this theory assumes that existence of ion but does not like take into account of the electrostatic attractions between that ions. That limitation is also very important regarding to that Arrhenius theory. Theory of Arrhenius, acid and base and limitation, those are important. One more theory is to explain that strong electrolyte, that is Debye-Uckel theory of strong electrolyte. This theory to explain that equivalent conductance of an electrolyte depends on that number of ions, charge on the ions and the speed of the ions. Just a brief uh, explanations they mention, just you go through that. And the mathematical analysis of that Debye-Uckel concept, so the last time Kelly there in the six mark again. Mathematical analysis of Debye-Uckel concept. Please be go through that. Here, uh, this derivations is uh, derived based on this Boltzmann law of distributions particle. In that uh, Boltzmann law of distributions particle in a field of varying potential energy. Okay, by consider that assumptions, we are going to derive that. this uh, unit one more equation is there that is debye uckel unsauger conductance equation debye uckel unsauger conductance equation actually this equation is explained the ions is stationary with respect to that solvent the ionic atmosphere will also remain this stationary it will be Spherically symmetrical. However, when the ion is under the influence of an electric field, when the ions move say to that right, it will constantly have to build up its ionic atmosphere to that right. Okay. Based on that relaxation effect or a asymmetric effect and electrophoric effect. You know that electrophoric effect. Based on the charge, we are going to explain. Okay. Next, what are the validity of the Debye-Uckel Unsauger equation? Anyhow, we are derived that Debye-Uckel Unsauger equation. What is that? Lambda is equal to lambda naught. Lambda means molar conductivity is equal to standard molar conductivity minus A plus B. Those are electrolyte into root C. C means what? Concentrations of that solution. Okay. Finally, we derive that. What is that? A and B. What is that? A and B. Okay. This is what? Uh, just we solve that. A and B. This is the validity of that Debye-Uckel and Sauger equation. Okay. The chances are less. Okay. Here some questions are mentioned from this uh, unit uh, fifth what is electrochemistry basic aspects of electrochemistry 
conductivity what is the unit of conductivity faraday's first and second law and arrhenius theory of electrolytic dissociation etc that uh, unit 6 to extensions of this uh, dubai vocal theory the dubai vocal theory of activity coefficient simply that is called dubai vocal limiting equation these derivations are also important and what are the limitations of this dubai vocal theory dubai vocal limited limiting law has its own in adduct basis if you plot the graph of oh yeah plot the graph of what log f against root mu at higher concentrations okay and the dubai vocal equations for appreciable concentration this derivation is also important and how to calculate the ionic strength of this uh, conducting solution here we are going to take on the different uh, concentrations of that uh, potassium chloride and potassium dichromate here in that potassium chloride is having 0.3 molar and potassium dichromate is 0.5 molar solution mix with each other we are getting a solutions okay how to calculate the ionic strength by using the biochemical equation okay in that uh, unit 7 just we concentrate of that elmore's equation brief survey of that uh, elmore's equation based and the elmore's pattern terrain and go chapma and stern electrode double layer and types of interfaces that is helm olds and ferrin model that is uh, one model and gua and chapman model the last one is stern model okay these are all the models to find that and concentrations of cells the electrochemical cells may be classified in different electrochemical cell under that the chemical cell and concentration cell in that concentration cell electrolyte concentration cell and electrode concentration cell in that electrolyte concentration cell cells with transparent cells without transparent okay this uh, different types uh, you learn that the liquid junction potential or diffusion potential this derivation is important and eliminations of liquid junction potential and determinations of liquid junction potential this also important derivation and affect the concentrations of solutions of potassium chloride on liquid junction potential just you see here variation or concentrations of potassium chloride variation of concentrations of potassium chloride expression in that normality the emf electromotive force expressed in that millivolt and concentrations of kcl and just you see here at a low concentrations of kcl what we are getting higher emf value here keep on increasing that concentrations of kcl here what happened a emf value is decreases the theoretical basis of using a bridge bridge containing concentrated salt solutions to eliminate the liquid junction potential is that the ions of this salt as present in that large excess at this junction and they consequently carry almost the whole of the current across the boundary that the concept of migrations of ions in that migrations of ions means when electrolyte solution is subjected to electrolysis the ions present in solutions are moving towards the electrode the movement of the ions towards the oppositely charged electrode is called migrations of ions okay is the mathematical expressions for that migrations of ions okay these are all the important questions from this unit the next unit unit 
second block lost in it in that what is that hitrof method hitrof method means it expresses that based on the principle that the decrease in concentrations around an electrode is directly proportional to the velocity of the ion that moves away from that electrode the velocity of cation is directly proportional to that decrease in concentrations around anode the velocity of anion is directly proportional to that decrease in that concentrations around that cathode the velocity of cation by anion is equal to or mention the loss in cation equivalent at anode due to migration by loss in anion equivalent at cathode due to migration what we are getting is equal to 1 yeah velocity of cation by velocity of anion is always equal to 1 only the experimental procedure for this a typical setup for determination and transparent number here what is that just you see the diagram here this is the diagram for that itrof method this diagram is also very important just you are going to practice just uh, here battery is there that is connected to that what is that cathode compartment and uh, control uh, central compartment and anode compartment the three compartment is there okay in that cathode compartment and anode compartment between central compartment here one is resistance is there the resistance is directly connected to that what cell or battery okay this diagram and this is the calculation spot in that uh, itrof method and in that emf method in the this method is based on measurement of emf cell containing the same electrolyte with the with and without transparent okay this is and true and apparent transport numbers dono kuda kelidare sulpa adu concentrate maadi two mark ge in abnormal transport number just we are going to take a simple example cadmium iodide cadmium iodide is dissociated to formation of cadmium 2 plus plus 2 i minus okay the uh, by consider this math this equation we are going to explain that abnormal transport number the what are the factors are affect that transport number of ions one is nature of ion nature of other ions present hydration of ions and concentrations of ions these are all finally temperature these are all important factors regarding to the transport number of an ion and effect of concentrations of transport number here yeah, the transport number of an ion varies with concentration of of the electrolyte in the solutions due to an inter ionic attraction hydration ion association and complex formation this these are all the important criteria to explain that effect of concentrations of transport number here yeah. effect of temperature on transport number the temperature is also one of the important factors to explain that transport number to so variations of this temperature the transport number is also variation okay it uh, molecules dependence here hydrochloric acid sodium chloride potassium chloride and barium chloride okay these are all important concept regarding to that unit eight okay in this uh, videos we discussed only block 1 and block 2 almost uh, eight units we covered just you go through that okay in the end of the um topic a uh, chapter some questions are mentioned here those questions are concentrate already i explained how these uh, question papers are made okay one more questions nimage 10 questions na kottirtare adralli 8 questions ge nevu answer na madbeku prati block indanu kuda nimage equal weightage so bandirutte inna part 2 nalli nevu four questions na attend madbeku ಒಂದೊಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ 
ಆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ನ ನಾವು ಯಾವ ತರ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅದೇ ತರ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ನ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೂ ನ ನೀವು ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಮೂರು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ನ ಅದರಲ್ಲೇ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡನ್ನ ಬರ್ದಿ ಬೇರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ತಗೊಂಡು ಬರೆಯೋ ತರದೆಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ವೈ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೀಟಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಐ ಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ Thank you. 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 Thank you.